Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we're uh, using a few mods. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, this is, as you can see by the name, Wright Brothers Plane. This was created by Master Map Maker, and I believe I was supposed to see it a while ago, and I did not, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, at least I found it now. And I'm supposed to give it a little uh, test flight. Uh, interesting. It's an interesting design. It really does actually look a bit like the Wright Brothers plane. Well, more than a bit, but yeah, it's pretty creative. Um, immediately off the bat, the only thing I can say that's bad about it is uh, these here at the front. They'll work against us. They should do these uh, flaps at the very front. Uh, usually rear facing flaps I found tend to do the opposite of what you tell them to do so yeah let's uh let's go ahead and try it and if you somehow hadn't guessed already uh, we are using mod parts for this indeed I didn't really want to accept it because of that but I uh, I decided to anyhow so I guess I'll allow it also uh, kinda strange dip in the middle there it's not very uh, stable or structurally sound or whatever the word is right here it's you can see that we're uh, angled down actually which is interesting I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to fly this thing well at all uh, it, I can blame it on it being the Wright Brothers plane though if, if it fails right can't I that's how it works right oh whoa Oh, flies quite nice. A little slow to respond on the rolling. Not so much on the pitch. The pitch it responds right away. Um, huh. It has this weird little, like, I don't know how to say it. It's like... Stable, but not stable. And actually, I just figured out the biggest problem with it right now. Um is the lack of vertical stabilizer because <laughs> as you can see I'm uh, I am pulling way off from prograde because I don't have a vertical stabilizer um, now the real Wright Brothers plane I don't know if it had a vertical stabilizer I'm guessing it didn't because I'm pretty sure it looked pretty much like this except you know out of wood and whatnot but uh... If it did have a vertical stabilizer, then you forgot that and you need to add that. If it didn't, you need to add that, but you're not going to because, you know, it's the Wright Brothers plane. Alright, let's let's land it. Uh hopefully. Let's let's see how well I can land it. I'm just gonna cut power, as I always do. And I'm gonna hope it'll pull prograde a little bit more, because I really don't like landing sideways. But it looks like I don't really have a choice here. Also, it looks like I'm gonna crash here. Just, just saying. Um, yeah, so we're probably gonna die, except this is a probe, so there's no one on board to actually die. But, uh, whoa! Ah, come on, come on! Roll! Roll! We're gonna land sideways. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Um. Oh. Balls. Come on. Oh, this is so bad. This is so hard to fly. Well, it was the first plane, first powered plane after all. Like, you can't expect it to be that good, can you? Oh, shit. Don't land that hard. Oh, oh balls! Wait, I landed? Oh cool, I landed. Wow, this thing is really rickety. Bounces and slides around. At least it has a ton of wheels under it, so it like, it doesn't really fall over, even though it likes to turn. That's pretty cool though, like it just turns on its own like that. It looks really cool turning. Yeah, but there, there's that. Let's, uh, let's see what's next on the list. Oh yes, and now I remember the other reason I had mods installed for this thing. This shuttle. 
goes into space. Oh yes. I don't remember how to fly it though. Uh, this is created by Nathan. Uh, he told me how to fly it, and uh, me being me, I uh, promptly forgot how I'm supposed to fly it. <laughs> But, uh, so I'm thinking we're not gonna go into space today, but, um, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm definitely gonna try, even though <laughs> we're not going into space today, probably. The only thing I remember that he told me about this design is that these, uh, boosters on the side here, they don't actually, um, we don't actually we don't actually detach them separately like we have to dump this this stack uh, you know all three of these the main fuel tank the boosters we have to dump all of it at once um, because it doesn't work otherwise and uh, yeah let's see there was one other thing he told me which was probably something to do with throttle control so I'm probably gonna screw it up really bad right now just with liftoff so uh, here goes nothing oh, this is actually a really good uh, liftoff I may be speak speaking I may be speaking way too soon though oh we use just those outer engines for the liftoff what the uh, inner engines don't do anything okay sure Oh, there's a button I'm supposed to use. Um, shit. There's... I'm doing something wrong. I have... I have no idea what I'm doing. Abort! SAS off. Oh god, pull up. No, no, don't hit the side of the thing. Okay, okay, we can... No, we can't recover. Um... Yeah, we're pretty much doomed at this point. I'm sorry! EVA, 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 EVA! Oh, they can't actually exit this vehicle. And here we are again on the pad. Now one thing you may or may not have noticed is that the IVA views here in the corner look a little different. That is because I have a mod installed that allows me to look at the cockpit as if there's actually a cockpit. And uh, if I click this left monitor See, now we're looking at the shuttle from a downward view like this. Isn't that nifty? That is so cool. Alright, and then if I hit C, I accidentally hit X, so I accidentally, uh... See, I think this is the nose camera, or is this pointing straight up, or... Yeah, yeah, because this is pointing forward from the nose, or on the nose of the shuttle. Um, then this one points up from, like, the nose again from the nose but like points up so you can use it for docking like that direction so that's that's pretty nifty um, I accidentally hit X so I uh, turned off our throttle um, and then here's what it looks like from the inside it's not so good for flying but it's it's still pretty freaking awesome considering we don't actually have one of these in the game so here we are on the pad I don't know what I'm supposed to do to make this work, but, uh... This is probably gonna fail the exact same way as the other one. Um... Let me just hope I can, uh... Come on, hit the button. Turn this engine on. Fuel flow zero. Right. Oh, one just turns those off. Right, we definitely don't want that. But they run out of fuel really fast. And then we're left in this horrible... And then we're left in this horrible, we're gonna die. Nope, nope, turn off the SAS. No, 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 we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna... Oh god, they're gonna take out our wings. No, wait, they didn't. Haha! -ha. Alright, we can land this thing. No, wait, no, we can't. Is there an abort sequence? Oh, that was my landing gear. Um... Right, well, we can watch our doom from the cockpit. RCS didn't help at all. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'll have to uh, talk to Nathan.
and we'll revisit this design in another video because explosions.